So of course, Francis Kirkjohn, who made Baccarat Rouge 540 for his own brand, he's the creative director for Christian Dior now. And part of the Maison Dior line is a brand new fragrance called New Look. Very special thank you to my friend Chris for sending me this decant. I'm gonna be giving you my pseudo first impressions on camera today, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on the brand new New Look by Christian Dior, I'll tell you all about this fragrance, the notes, performance, longevity, comparisons, all that good stuff. But before I begin the video, I do wanna mention that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and also please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. And Chris, once again, thank you so much for sending me this decant, giving me the opportunity to try this fragrance that I otherwise would not try unless I make it into New York one of these days, which I didn't have any immediate plans of doing so. But nevertheless, this is an incense-based fragrance and not a smoky incense fragrance. This is a frankincense based fragrance and this would have been a pseudo first impression whether I wanted it to be or not because as soon as I opened the package I smelled a strong whiff of incense and I said which decant is this coming from and there were several in there thank you Chris but as soon as I sprayed this on I was like oh that's straight up olibanum or frankincense and I know that because frankincense has this characteristically lemony and pine smell. So it smells very bright, very citric, but it also has this verdant quality sitting underneath. And then of course you look at the note breakdown, you also have aldehydes, you have amber, and there's a variety of different ambers on the market. As a matter of fact, yes, olibanum can be used as a resin to comprise an amber accord, right? So, okay. So right away, <laughs> As soon as I smelled that, I thought to myself, man, this is a fragrance that the brand Filippo Sorcinelli would put out. I mean, it's so strong as far as the incense is concerned. This is like a Comme de Garçon Avignon type of a frankincense, which I love, by the way. But of course, I've smelled this in perfumes so many times before, and knowing the price of the Comme de Garçon counterpart and knowing the price of a Maison Dior fragrance, I don't know if it's worth that differential. I guess it all depends on, you know, how important the brand name is to you, even though Comme de Garçon is a, a highly respected brand, but yeah, so you're gonna get a lot of frankincense. Now, aldehydes, people have compared them to the, the sensation you almost get with like a carbonated beverage. Like they're very fizzy, they're very sparkling. If you smelled something like Chanel's number no. five, I think you would have a pretty decent idea of what aldehydes could potentially smell like. But, you know, I can kind of see how it's working its way into this fragrance. It's almost creating like this luminous quality in the opening, this, this brightness, if you will. But really that frankincense, that olibanum ingredient, really dominates. And as far as the amber is concerned, so there are several resins that can be used in the synthesis of an amber accord, right? So you have labdanum, you have galbanum, you have benzoin, you can have olibanum, tolu balsam, peru balsam, and of course you can also use vanilla if you want to sweeten things up. There's nothing sweet about this fragrance. It is bright, it has a citric tart quality to it, it's sparkling, it's luminous, it's green, it has a piney quality to it. That incense ingredient is super, super, strong and nothing about this conveys viscosity either so it doesn't smell thick or syrupy or anything like that which benzoin can do sometimes and uh you know benzoin even as a as an ingredient if you ever purchase benzoin essential oil is so thick that you have to put it in a tub of warm water in order to you know thin it out so that it can be used in perfume composition and i had a, a very big bottle of it this fragrance is a fantastic incense fragrance. You have to be a fan of frankincense and incense to enjoy this one. The good news is that there's nothing really smoky in here. There's typically a lot of smokiness in perfumes, which is attributed to notes like Cade or Birch. You're not going to find any of that in here. So if you're a fan of incense fragrances, please try this one out. But at the same time, if you have not tried fragrances like Full Incense by Montau, fragrances from the brand Filippo Sorcinelli, and I think there's one specifically called Unum Loves in an all black bottle, beautiful stuff. And even Comme de Garçon Avignon, try those first. Cardinal by Healy is another one. Those are fantastic incense fragrances. And I think all of them are significantly more inexpensive than New Look. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, it is a different take 
on the incense fragrances that I've tried in the past, but you do get this overdose of olibanum, which I personally love. It's kind of hard for me to recommend incense fragrances because I know they're not everybody's cup of tea. But I think with all of the other fragrances on the market presently, I would just sample this one first. And if you like it, try the others that I mentioned in this video because you might really like those too. The longevity on this one is a good eight hours on skin. Projection, great. I think on account of the aldehydes, it did really well for the first hour. It radiated beyond an arm's length. It became an elbow's length scent right around hour six, a skin scent right around hour eight. Versatility on this one, unisex i suppose i'd wear this one dressed up unless you find something very comforting serene and meditative about the note of incense which i would assume a lot of people do so you can wear this one casually maybe when you're at home or you're meditating or praying or anything of that nature this one i think would appeal to perhaps somebody who's a little bit older i would personally prefer to wear something like this in the colder weather and as far as the presentation is concerned look i have a decant in front of me, but the actual presentation of Maison Dior fragrances is amazing. I love them. I have about a dozen of them, if not more, and when they're all lined up next to one another, they're truly gorgeous. My final verdict on this fragrance is it's a fantastic frankincense fragrance, but there are a lot of other frankincense fragrances on the market that you may wish to sample before this one, especially if you're interested in picking one up. But nevertheless, try it if you are a Dior fanboy or fangirl and you find that the brand name is very important, then by all means, please don't let anybody, you know, dissuade you. Try it. Purchase it if you're really satisfied with it. And I think Francis Kirk John is an incredible perfumer. And I'm very fortunate to have had the opportunity to not only meet him on a number of occasions, but work with him on a perfume of my own. Thank you so much for watching. New Look by Christian Dior. What do you think of this one? Have you tried it? If you have, drop your comments down below. Always love the interaction. And of course, if you learned anything from this video or if you found it helpful at all, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. And we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.